So there's an absolute process and procedure to setting up a set of gauges and getting them all put back away also. And I'm gonna walk you through that and it's gonna be something you're gonna to need to know and memorize and have, have in your brain, okay? Step number one, we wanna make sure our regulators are both backed out all the way just to where the point where they're they're kind of loose. Uh, both all of my, four of my gauges right now say zero. Uh, I'm gonna open up my oxygen tank just by turning the handle. You can see, or maybe you can't see, there's about uh, 1,800 pounds of oxygen pressure coming into my regulator. As I turn my regulator in, I'm able to get, I'm able to dial in how much pressure I want coming out available through my uh, torch tip. So I will turn my regulator in. On the oxygen side, I, bought, I want about 20 pounds of pressure. I'm looking at the PSI as the black, so as soon as I hit 20 pounds, I'm done turning that in. I now have 20 PSI of oxygen available at my torch tip. I'm gonna do the same with my acetylene. I'm gonna turn that knob open. I only got to turn it up maybe a, a one full turn, nothing crazy. Uh, my bottle regulator is telling me I've got about 150 pounds of pressure on my oxyacet or my uh, acetylene bottle. Um, I want to turn my regulator in until I get about to 10 pounds on my acetylene. As you get into the trade and you torch and you are brazing, it just depends. If you've got really large fittings, you may want to go a little higher on your uh, settings for oxygen and acetylene. Uh, smaller piping requires less gas, less of a less of a torch size. Uh, so now my torches are all set up. I'm ready to go. I've got uh, acetylene. I've got oxygen. Both ready to go. I can light this torch and and start brazing copper. Now to shut down my system. First I'm gonna do is to close my oxygen bottle. I'm gonna purge out all the oxygen that I have in my regulator, in my hoses, on my gauges. I can reclose my handle, back out my regulator, and I'm about at zero and zero and I'm done. So do the same with my acetylene. Close the valve on the bottle purge out my acetylene, both my gauges go to zero, reclose the knob, back out my regulator, make sure my bottles are secure, coil up my hoses, and we're ready to go back into the truck for the next job.